This is Greg with Best Choice Trailers, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Lamar DL14 14 foot dump. So the DL stands for dump low profile. It's a 14,000 pound model. I'm going to show you all the standard features that come on this trailer and then a few options that we've put on it as well. So starting out up front, it comes with a uh, six hole cast adjustable coupler. Notice they put a nice gusset on the front. That, uh, that gusset just makes the, the front tongue look very beefy. Also standard is going to be that 8 inch I-beam frame. You also notice a, a gusset where your tongue is back to your main frame. So we've optioned in a uh, 12K jack up front. 12K jack makes it, doesn't matter if you've got a full load or empty load, whenever you go to unhook, very simple to use. Okay, this also comes standard with a cold weather wire harness. This one, uh, harness is very flexible. It's fairly cold out today, and yet you can still twist it and bend it pretty much, uh, make a complete circle out of it. So of course, power up, power down uh, hydraulics come standard. It's a lockable toolbox. It's a little bit heavier gauge than some of the other boxes that we've seen on the market. Of course, it is power up, power down hydraulics. They use a KTI pump. Interstate deep cycle battery, another nice feature. They put it inside a battery box. Uh, it just makes it so if you throw straps or something inside, it's not going to be arcing. Okay, here you've got a, a DLH. Uh, it's an 8 amp hour battery charger. So some of them do put battery chargers in, but there's still a lot of manufacturers that don't. And then uh, this is an 8 amp hour. It's a little higher capacity. Uh, it's also got overcharge protection. Uh, you're going to find a lot of the ones on the market are going to be a 1.5 amp hour. Uh, some of them you might get a 5. So it's a little bit better quality unit. Coming back, I like how the uh, the hydraulic hoses are protected, so they go against the perimeter. Also going back, uh, they've got a little bit of protection for your hoist going down in that tray. Okay, they're using a scissor hoist standard, uh, running it at a 3200 uh, psi pressure. I've tested this hoist, it's a uh, 516, 5 inch uh, cylinder, 16 inch a stroke, and uh, generally on a 14 foot dump, these will basically exceed legal payload by about two to three ton depending on whether you got your weight placed properly or not. Very strong hoist. The undermount ramps are standard and then you also notice the cross members on this bed are structural channel. They're uh, 16 inch on center. Okay, I mentioned structural channel because uh, industry trend right now is for cross members to, uh, to uh, be formed. Form steel is not structural steel. This is still a 16 on center structural steel. Okay, this one we've upgraded to a uh, aluminum wheel assembly. Standard would be a, a silver mod wheel. Uh, tire would be a 16 inch 235 80R 16 10 ply. Of course, your tires are rated to uh, just over what the trailer capacity is. Double brook fenders are standard. One little feature I like is they put a uh, fender prop on there. That way if you get a little aggressive with a bucket or whatnot, it has a better chance of holding off. It also has got a fender return. So instead of a fender mount light that would be right on top of the fender that often gets damaged, I like how they do the, the fender return. just protects that light. You also notice the wiring uh, goes back in conduit from the uh, front to back side of the fender. It's a nice touch, keep your wiring a little bit better protected. Okay, your axles you see here are going to be Dexter axles, 7,000 pound. On this particular model, it can either be done with drop axles or straight axles. This particular one, you'll notice how it drops down. So instead of going into the center of the brake drum, this would be a four inch drop axle. What that's designed to do is get you a little bit lower profile for loading something like a skid steer. Uh, the straight axle unit would be a little bit more versatile as a as a universal trailer. Uh, the drop axle would be designed more for somebody that's going to load a skid steer on a fairly regular basis and wants that lowered angle. This particular unit, the way it's equipped with the drop axles, you're going to get about a 25 inch deck height. Uh, a straight axle trailer is going to get you about a 29. And a normal dump trailer, most manufacturers is going to come in somewhere between 29 and 32 inches deck height. So you got a fairly low profile angle. Okay, another feature that we like about the uh, Lamar would be this decal you see right here. It says seven gauge floor. 
they do in fact use a seven gauge floor as far as I know they're one of only a few in the industry very few that uh, do seven gauge industry standard would generally be a 10 11 or I've even seen 12 before so you got one sheet of 10 gauge on the floor of course you've got your standard corner D rings okay they do them uh, on the floor up front so it be out of the way for pretty much most all debris then in the back they put them near the bottom of the sidewall just to keep them out of the way for dumping Okay, as far as the back of the trailer, of course you got your rear pull-out ramps. They're going to hook onto your uh, hook onto your piece of flat stock at the back. And then uh, as far as your gate, uh, they do a cam bar lock full height. Uh, they do that to protect the top and bottom. Uh, some of them just put a single pin down at the bottom and then uh, the top of the gate's exposed to heavy loads. Okay, grease zerts on both your door hinges. Uh, folks, this is a three-way gate. Basically, that means that uh, you can pull the pin at the top, lay it down like a pickup truck gate, you can pull it at the bottom, swing it out like a dump truck, or of course you can barn door, which is surely the most common way people will be using this trailer. Okay, you got some extra tie down D-rings, that also helps hold your door open. Uh, you got stake pockets for side extensions. You also notice these caps at the top back. They're designed that you can slide uh, factory side extensions right down in and do a four foot side, which Speaking of, these sidewalls are also two foot high. I notice uh, an industry trend, some of them are only doing a 20 inch side, um, which is kind of nice. It's a little lower, but you also lose, uh, lose volume. Uh, they also do a nice heavy duty vertical upright uh, going down the sides. And then next to the vertical upright, you'll see hooks for your, for your tarp, which while a tarp's not standard, we do equip probably 99% of our trailers to go out the door with a tarp. Uh, that bar there is kind of handy. A lot of tarp kits don't do a sail bar, but that bar basically pulls right back, hooks in that guy there. Nice convenient. Uh, tarp stays nice and straight for you, and then um, one person can deploy it, not snag it. Okay, this top rail, Lamar calls a rigid rail. It's a very wide rail. I'd say it's about three inch. It's also a heavy gauge. Uh, what you'll find is this top rail is, is a lot heavier gauge if you put, again, a bucket or skid steer forks or something like that down on it, or if you hit it with a, a log or something like that, you're going to be a whole lot less likely to damage that top rail. So again, they call that rigid rail. That's something that they, uh, they came up with. They put two heavy-duty uh, mainframe hinges on this particular trailer. So back at the back, uh, pretty pretty stout the way they attach it to the beam and then another little detail they give um, a piece of flat on the back of the beam and then they do about a three by three tube at the back just gives some extra strength to that uh, hinge area a lot of your dump trailers will come with a slipper spring although some still do an eye to eye this is the better suspension system it's a slipper spring they also put a, a wet bolt kit on it basically it gives you a um, a greasable, um, a greasable setup that basically any homeowner with a grease gun can service. Not standard, but we have on this particular trailer via spare tire mount. Folks, this is a Lamar DL14 as shown as a 14 foot dump. Weighs about four empty. Legal payload with tongue weight is going to be about 12,000 pounds. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thank you.